Welcome back to Epic Kids. Today we're going to be making how an egg sucks into a bottle. We're going to suck a hard boiled egg into this bottle. So you're going to need a hard boiled egg. You're going to want to peel the shell off of it. This is one left over from Easter that's been dyed so that's why it's a green color. Mm -hmm. And then a bottle like this. We have a Starbucks Frappuccino bottle. Please find that these work the best. And then you're going to need a parent because you're going to have to use fire for this one. You're also going to need some vegetable oil to put on the inside ring of the bottle to help the egg slide down. You ready? Yep. I'll do the fire. You do the egg. Okay. Okay. And now my mom is going to light the fire. Good. Put the egg on the top. Oh! <laughs> and there you have it. So the smoke from the fire creates a vacuum effect when the egg blocks the top and then it sucks it in. Wait. Do you think that we could uh, put another egg and it could suck down again? I, I don't think so. What do you think, Epic Dad? I think you could, but then I think you'd be burning the egg inside the bottle. Ah. Well, thanks for watching. We hope you've enjoyed this fun science experiment. Try it yourself at home. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching. Today we're going to be making a egg experiment. experiment. So first we're going to be making the rubber egg. So first... Oh, is that real egg? Uh, yes. Yes. How did you do that? Let me see that. So it's completely shellless. Yes. Wow, can I see it? Sure. We hold it up to the light. If you hold it up to the light, you can see the Ew. yolk in there mm -hmm. floating around. Yep. So it's still a raw egg. Yep. Okay, Pask. How do we make it? How do you make it? So, first. Don't we First, you put in the vinegar, white vinegar. 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 I can say it that way. And then you pour it in a little glass, glass, and then you dump the raw egg in there. Like that. Here, I'll let you put that on. And then if we can see, scoot it over a little bit. See all the bubbles on it? It's eating the shell right now. That's exactly what's happening. All the bubbles on the shell are eating. The, so the acid in the vinegar is actually eating away at the calcium in the egg shell. So it takes away the hard outer part of the shell, but it leaves the membrane that encloses the shell. Look at all the bubbles on it. Yeah, you can really see the bubbles working away that outer shell. edge of the shell. So we'll let that set for two days, 48 hours. Yep. So if we break that, it'll actually still crack. Should we see how much it takes to crack it? Yeah. Okay, let's go outside. Let's see what happens. Let's drop it on the ground and just see if it'll break. Nope. No? Nope. Nope. Look at that. Okay. Try it a little higher. Oh, oh there it goes. Look, look, look what you get. You get a perfect egg. You do. It's a perfect egg. And that right there is the membrane that was on the outside of the egg. Ooh, yuck. So after messing with the egg, though, you want to make sure you wash your hands. So let's go inside and wash our hands, and we'll get on to the next experiment. Second one is how to make an egg float. So what we have here is we have two jars full of regular fresh water. And we have two raw eggs, and we've colored them so that they're pretty red, but they are regular raw eggs. Okay, so put them in. What happens when we put raw egg in to regular water? Look, you see, it doesn't float. Like it that. sinks. Okay, okay, so now put that other egg into the other water so that we can see that both of those are fresh water and two hard-boiled eggs. Okay, do you want to take the egg out of that one of the glasses of water? Take the small one. Sit it aside. And now we're gonna take salt. And we're using some kosher salt. Open it up and pour some salt into that water. You 
pull it from the top, actually. There you go. Pour it in. All right, that's good. And now, straw. Yep, stir it up. So now what we're doing is we're changing the density of that water. So the salt molecules are going to attach to the water molecules to make that water heavier. Okay, now we've got the salt all mixed in and dissolved into the water. So now let's put the egg in and see what happens. And it floats. There it is on the top. So yeah, so the water with the salt in it is thicker than the water without salt. So it gives something for the egg okay. to well, stand in. This one is floating, this one is it. Cool. Do you think that you can walk on eggshells? I don't know, Pask. Do you think you can? Yeah. Without breaking them? Yeah. Okay, no. get up. I think it was the carton. Did any of them break? No, they did not. Do you know how that worked? No. <laughs> no. It's all in the shape of the egg. So we want to make sure that the shape, the eggs are strongest at the top and the bottom. So you want to make sure that the eggs are going all in the same direction. So if you have the round side up or the narrow side up all the way and that is where the eggs are the strongest so that's how mama ducks can sit on their eggs without cracking them they have them placed up like that and that's why when you crack an egg on the side it will crack so like if we take this same egg and crack it on the side it'll crack open yep. so you can walk on eggshells you want to try it again? Yep. Let's see. The carton's going to crack a little, or make a little noise. Put your foot up. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Let's see, step off. No. Did they crack? Nope. Nope, they sure didn't. We are going to test and see just how strong the incredible egg is by seeing how long we can throw it back and forth without it breaking. Did it break? No? Okay, give it a toss. Whoa. Oh, it cracked. That was a pretty long one, but it took a couple good hits. Let's see where it cracked at. On the side. So see it's still intact on the tops and the bottom where it's the strongest. Ooh, go wash your hands now. Get the egg off them. I hope you enjoyed all the egg experiments that you can do. Bye, subscribe for more fun. Bye!